Well, the six GT cars, all in the championship hunt, they streamed out for what we expected to be a really tight battle. Car guy, though, stumbled at the start with a couple of track limits issues. The 51 car in the hands of new uh, Ferrari factory driver Daniel Serra pushed hard, was in the mix, but ultimately had no answer to the pace of Tim Slade in the number 27 Hob Auto Corsa Ferrari. The Aussie Supercars star put it right in the mix. But the story of the day for many will be the emergence for a pole position, a first pole position in the Asian Le Mans series for an Indonesian team, Rio Harianto in the number 75 T2 motorsports car. They were rightly delighted with that. Are they an emerging, emerging force? LMP3. Eight cars, four in the hunt, uh, two very much in the hunt, but it was Norma's day today. Four of the eight, Norma chassis, the other four, the Ligiers, and it was the Normas that really had the pace. The number eight car uh, in the mix to start with, David Drew looked like he might have an answer to the pole position conundrum, but ultimately slid back uh, into third. That was because coming up into second position on the front row, Garrett Grist, the Canadian flag driver, in the number three car for Nielsen Racing. That would be, well, the cherry on top of a great day for Nielsen Racing. One, two in the order. And that was thanks to a dominant performance, ultimately, from an emerging force in sports car racing. Young Scott Colin Noble absolutely bossed it for Nielsen Racing. It'll be a one, two for Norma. It'll be a one, two for Nielsen Racing. Tomorrow, four hours at Buriram in LMP3. Then we got into the dogfight we expected for LMP2 and with the LMP2 car um, cars out there. It turned out to be two top dogs scrapping it out. The first of them, Kiwi Nick Cassidy, as Guy Cosmo put the 25 car for Rick Ware Racing on top in LMP2 AM. That was settled early on. All eyes then were on what's going to happen for the overall pole position. Matthias Besch tried to have a bit of say in that in the anti europol car. That wasn't going to quite work out. Cassidy just edged away a little in the number one car in the Kiwi colours. But Ben Barnicote was soon in the mix. And Barnicote had his tail up. If there was going to be a dogfight, he was going to be the one with the sharpest teeth. The Dallara, the 45 car for Thunderhead and Carlin would set the pole position in excellent fashion. That sets up a fantastic battle for the overall championship tomorrow. Don't miss it because it's going to be a blinder. That's a happy, happy man and a happy team.